What's good with y'all, man? You watching AGTV, and on this episode, we're reacting to Sham Red, MMI, Sacrifice. Now, I'm happy about this one, man. I'm excited about this one. I couldn't find no comment requesting it, but I know somebody asked for it, so it had to be on Instagram. So if you did ask for this on Instagram, big shout out to you. Y'all know I don't disclose people's Instagram and stuff like that. I always tell y'all, you feel me? But Sham Red, M M Sham Red MMI, that's a little tongue twister. I ain't never reacted to him before. I've been doing a lot of new artists lately, if you haven't noticed, so... I've been saying that a lot lately, but I ain't reacted to him before, so I really don't know what to expect. So other than that, I ain't really got too much to say. Let's just get into it. Make sacrifice I'm busy top dog Full of pussy style Father please any food It'll take a while And when each other Make a broke In a bag of wine More rich Buy a money aisle I'm a rub up in a hit And make a hockey line I'm still a nano scam I'm just a sacrifice Me have to do it I'm never was a lucky child Damn it's kind of Hitting home for me Cause it's like let me let me listen to it one more time. Man. Hold on. Now we need to make a block in a big boy. More rich, more money. I'm a rub up in a hit and make a hockey line. I'm still a nano scam, I'm just a sacrifice. Me have to do it. What was that stuff he was putting on his skin? Was that like a ritual that scammers do or something like that? That's what I was getting from it. Cause at the same time when he was doing that, he was talking about stealing and scamming, basically doing what he had to do. You know what I'm saying? I think he said something about not being a lucky child or something, something like that, something to that effect. But this some real shit though, right here. My heart to bleed, but I'm still all right. Whenever you're going through stuff, you gotta just. Get through it. Like in the end, you should just know you're gonna be cool. Like that's what helped me get through everything. Like when I'm going through shit, in the end, I oh I think about all the other stuff I dealt with in my life, and I felt like it was over with. Like life was over with, and then I got through it. You feel me? Like you gonna always get through it, type shit. I said he talked to the devil and Jesus Christ. Hold on. We never talk about that. Like, people always say they talk to God or they talk to Jesus. Whatever you believe in, you know? Like, people always say they talk to a higher power, but nobody ever talk about speaking to the devil. Like, nobody ever talk about communicating with the devil. Even though the devil is a big force in our world and is a big force in places we probably can't even fathom. The devil is evil, the devil is deceptive, but the devil is powerful as hell, right? And we never talk about speaking to the devil. I know I never shot to, but I never heard nobody actually like admit to speaking to the devil. I just, that's something I would never probably try to do because I mean, it's like what we got to talk about. But you know, life puts you in certain places where you never know what situation you'll be in and what you'll end up doing, so... That's that's deep right there, bro. People are push some media vibes. Just listen to them words and pray. So make sacrifice. I'm missing that dog. Full of pussy style. Father, please send me food. It'll take a while. And when each other make a broke in a bag of wine. More rich, more money. I'm a rubber pin. I hit a big hockey line. I'm still a nano scam. I'm just a sacrifice. Me have a drink. I'm a never was a lucky child. Dead by the yeah, he talk about some deep shit right now. He said something about a VPN and some other shit. Hold on. A lot of niggas. Uh, a 
He said, on the line, me no talking. Is that what he said? If that is what he said, I don't know if that's what he said, but... A lot of niggas be on the phones talking a little bit too much about their business, bro. And sonically, it just overall sound good. Like the song just is vibing. Like the beat, his voice over the beat, the song just sound good. For real, for real. This shit, it's like it's giving you like the energy to where you just feel it. Like you just feel the authentic authenticity of the song. You can feel it. Stole this nigga money, bro. I think that's what happened, right? He stole my nigga money. That's fucked up. It be your own people, bro. It be your own people, man. Shout out to Kit Boss Records, you feel me? I don't know who Kit Boss Records is and who the CEO and all that stuff, but shout out to them, you know what I'm saying? Because this song was hard. I fucked with it heavy. And I'm probably, I'm probably gonna end up actually playing it in the car and shit like that. I'm probably gonna really fuck with it type shit. I like the song though. But other than that, I ain't got too much to say, man. It's that Sham Red MMI Sacrifice. Go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you're gonna react to next. I'm out.